natty um, emoji lemon. Um, we are going to make, uh, or I am going to make a insect repelling soap um, inspired by Wonderside's insect repelling soap with citronella and geranium essential oils. Um, theirs costs $15 a bar and I can't afford to use it all summer long, so I'm going to try and make my own. Um, while I'm talking to you, I, I have a bowl of geranium petals. Um, they're dried. Um, I purchased them um, online. Um, gosh, this is harder than it looks. I purchased them on Etsy um, from the Healing Gypsy. Um, they're grown organically in Maine. And while I'm talking to you about uh, the soap, I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces. They're kind of large petals. Um, and I don't have a mortar and pestle or a coffee grinder to grind them up into something smaller. So I'm just going to snip them with my plant shears while I'm speaking to you. So I already explained um, the inspiration behind this particular soap. Um, which is the Wonder Side um, insect repelling soap. I do find when I use that soap that I get bit a little bit less, um, and I usually have a lot of bug bites in the summertime. Um, let's talk about the materials I am going to be using today. Um, I did a lot of research to decide how to proceed. Uh, I've never made soap before, so this could be interesting. Um, or it could go swimmingly. We will see. Um, I decided to do melt and pour soap. That means that I'm using already saponified plant material, meaning that someone else has handled uh, the sodium hydroxide, which is lye, which is a, a toxic chemical, but um, a natural one, and it's essential for soap making. Um, to saponify plant matter, you have to let it sit for over a week um, before it can be used. So that was just a couple reasons why I didn't want to. I guess I don't have to handle the lie. Um, I won't have to let it sit for so many weeks. That doesn't mean that it's less natural. Um, basically, you just use very plain, very, very plain saponified Plant material. So I wanted to use saponified aloe vera um, because I thought that would go great as a, um, you know, you can't deter all of the insect bites and so it would be soothing to the insect bites that do get through. Although you might be able to deter them if I was to create an accompanying lotion, which I might do. Um, so anyhow, um, I went looking for a very plain saponified aloe vera and then you melt it and recreate a more uh, decadent soap or a more medicinal soap by adding other plant material and other oils. So I found, um, unfortunately I did support um, a corporation, but I think it's a B corporation. Um, they make a lot of uh, natural and plain plant soap bases for people like me. I will um, give you the name in a moment when something is melting and I have a moment to look back through my Amazon orders. Um, but I just looked a lot because I wanted something that was very plain and didn't already have a lot of oils added to it so that I could really create my own soap. Um, I also found that it's really difficult to find saponified aloe vera. It's already got other things in it as well. Not that those things are bad, it's just that, according to my research, aloe vera can be saponified by itself. I ended up finding something not by itself, but aloe vera is the first saponified ingredient then comes carrots and cucumbers. So I'm gonna be working with a melt and pour soap base that is aloe vera, carrots, and cucumber, saponified plant materials, 
um, with nothing else added besides the sodium hydroxide or the lye that makes it soak. That is what renders it saponified. So I'm almost done here. I think I have enough to go in because I do want to decorate the top as well with some of the more chunky pieces. So I guess I can kind of separate it. I'm not 100% happy with the amount that came in this tin for $20. It did explain that it takes a lot of dried petals to fill the tin, but one of my goals with my new little store, coming from my experience, is that things be accessible in price. Like the whole reason I'm making this soap is because I can't afford to keep buying the Wonderside soap several times, twice a month. I can't afford that. I need a soap that costs, you know, eight or nine dollars maximum. And so I'm striving to see if I can create it. I take, I still have to take it, uh, I have a little spreadsheet and I'm gonna put in all of my costs. So we'll see how much each bar of soap ends up costing me and whether or not I was able to do this cheaper than buying from Wonderside. Let's see. I won't, I won't be, I'll, I'll be transparent about that. All right, so last night I already did something pretty fun. I already cut the soap. Um, due to the soap bases I picked, aloe vera, carrot, and cucumber, it's, it's translucent. And so we basically have to create a double boiler. Um, we need to melt it. I'm notorious for burning myself, so I'm going to take out every type of burn guard I have. My mother sent me a package of all different types because she noticed that I was ruining my hands. So, and also nourishment is important. So let me take a bite of this. Protein, purity, sunflower, butter, and chocolate go macro bar. All right. I'm going to put enough water in this pot for it to boil and the heat and the steam is going to melt the soap. Once it's melted, I can add things to it and stir before it reconstitutes later in the fridge. Um, I will be adding, since our goal is insect repel, citronella, which is a big dub. I think that, unfortunately, the smell of citronella has become literally associated with insect repellent, which just goes to show you that insect repellent relies heavily on a very natural essential oil, but if you can kind of imagine beyond it, this is what citronella smells like. The herb, the essential oil, and um, it's a blessing that it like keeps insects away and um, try and think about it for what it smells like instead of like, oh, that smells like insect repellent. So I've come to kind of re-embrace the smell. It also reminds me of horse camp being young because you have to put it on the horses and it smells really potent. Okay, um, so citronella and geranium, which I got the idea from the Wonderside soap, and then when I did my research, I learned that geranium, in addition to having a lot of other medicinal properties, which I can't name because I'm new and I didn't memorize them, um, it, uh, it also works to repel insects. So I believe I bought geranium oil. I've already put it in my stash. Heck. 
than I thought I did buy it. Well, here's where we have one of those moments where I'll have to edit it out. Goodness. Well, here I can at least tell you also what the brand of the melt and pour was. Right now. So how to find things, going back into my email. Melt and pour soap. Maybe it's called soap base. Okay, yeah, it was called Tree Tea, wait. No, 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 that's an old order. Bayer and Bailey from here. Soap. Yes. No. Yes, it came from Bulk Apothecary. That much I know. So I should sign in there. That's a reminder. Bulk. Oh, honey. I saved everything. Carrot, cucumber, and aloe vera. Stevenson melt and pour soap base and although they list the carrot and cucumber first I looked at the ingredients and the aloe vera actually comes first and I did buy geranium Egyptian certified essential oil So please hold the phone because we're not moving forward until the geranium oil is located. I mean come on now We bought it for this. We're gonna use it You know So this is gonna create a big interruption in my video, but oh no Okay, never mind. I found it. It was just at the bottom of the box. No need to panic. All right, let's move forward. So yeah, we're just going to use these two because I really want them to be front and center. Um, let's see what they smell like. Oh, also, I should take time to ground myself. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to be some spiritual wise person, but I'm, I'm on my path, right? Just like everyone. Um... Let's take a moment of silence. I'm gonna go to the window, kind of near my altar space. Let's each take a moment and ground ourselves before we make this soap. viewer um so we're here we're right about to get started we have some um chopped soap already um poured uh to melt and pour i explained at the beginning of the video which i'll post to youtube later uh why i chose this method um we're making an insect repelling soap um so we're going to use uh let's take a sniff of these two oils To be honest, this is very potent, and I'm not a huge fan. It smells, sometimes certain essential oils I don't like the smell of, like rose. So, so intense, but it's because they're like a hundred times concentrated. So these are two oils that don't smell all that great out the bottle, but they have really important um, effects to repel insects. So here, I'm also gonna get my Pyrex. I'm going to use it to fill the pot with water, and I'm also going to use it to pour the soap later into the molds. So I need to know how much water to pour. I'm doing a double boiler right now.
And this is uh, when you make crafts, unless you follow someone else's recipe, um, it's trial and error until you get something right. It's really important to um, hold on to your recipes. I've been kind of dawdling in making um, this really wonderful uh, cream I used to make because I lost my recipe and I had worked a couple years back at really getting the recipe down and I finally did and I'm just using the last of it and um, it's discouraging to have to start from scratch not remembering not really even remembering how to make it because I made it so many years ago and I was just going to rely on those notes to do it again so I have to say I should have put it electronic because I lost the paper so I'm now keeping all of my projects um, on Google Drive. So I will be making notes about this process. Um, so right, I'll just, um, here I'm like doing the opposite of what I said, but it's just because I don't want to interrupt my stream. Uh, I had bought two pounds of soap and I'm, I used one pound of it today. And, um, Gosh, the healing gypsy didn't even tell me exactly how much geranium petals I use, but I don't think I can afford to keep buying geranium petals in that quantity from that um, vendor, even though they're organic and amazing. As you'll hear at the beginning of this video, um, I'm trying to keep costs low because this soap is inspired by a soap that I, I use from a brand called Wonderside, but it's $15 a bar, and I can't afford to buy that all summer long. So I'm trying to make my own. Um, so the geranium petals are a lovely touch, but they were the most expensive part of this craft. So anyways, one pound of soap I'm using today, and I'm gonna start off with 15 drops each of each essential oil, or maybe 20 drops of citronella and 15 drops geranium. I also am going to add um, cut geranium leaves. I have them cut as fine as I can. They're a little chunkier on one side than the other. God, I need to learn how to do this. So the chunkier side I'm going to put on top before drying. And the finer side I'm going to mix in. Okay, so I'm just starting to heat the water. What else did I say I was going, oh, one other thing I'm going to do while this is going on is I wanna make sure that my molds are totally sterile because they've been sitting in a box for a few days, although I did keep it in plastic, but actually, no, I kept it in plastic and I'm not sure if there should be any water. I think I'm going to spray them with, mm, I'm going to rinse it and dry it. I want to make sure that there's no dust or cat hair or anything that might have accidentally got on there. Then I'm going to dry it really well. So uh, water is just starting to get a little warm over here, but I'm already seeing melting because I used a metal bowl. All right, I need to pick my utensils. I think I'm going to go plastic or metal because wood is porous. I'm gonna rinse this off. In case it has any dust on it from not being used recently. Wow, I'm seeing melting so quickly, even before I'm seeing boiling. Now, people say you don't want to burn it, so I better turn the heat down. Oh shit. Oh shit, I hope you guys don't see me burn it. 
Everyone said that was really, and I'm just remembering, but it's very important not to burn it. Now, I think what I might have been smelling is not the burnt soap, but just something on my burner itself. Well, we'll see. I might create a burnt soap batch. Kind of like burnt beans. Once they're burnt, the whole pot. I can't tell if I smell a burn thing. I just, I'm too new. But I'll know whether or not this is soap I want to give to my family and friends once I use it, won't I? There was a moment I smelt something. Just a moment. But it didn't smell good. And I'm concerned, like I mentioned with the burnt beans things, that that smell might have made its way into this melting soap. Um, I wonder if I can stream on two devices at one time, because it would be really easy to show what's going on here. Just don't do what I did and be careful as you're getting the water hot. You actually, what I've learned is that um, I had it on high because I thought I needed the water to boil in order for this to start melting, but I didn't. And that's why I had that moment of burn. Um, you, don't need the wa you don't need the water to boil to melt the soap. I guess it probably depends on the soap base. But with the soap base that I'm working with, I didn't need my water to boil in order for the soap to melt. And so I didn't need to put my burner on high. And I will learn that for next time. It doesn't smell bad, we're gonna see. And that's good, um, it should smell basically like nothing because there is no essential oil in it. I have it on five right now and now it's taking some time for the other pieces to go ahead and melt for me. Now that I'm not so worried that it's going to burn, I'm going to let it sit for a minute. You learn a lot the first time you do something. Unfortunately, it's hard to do things in like any smaller batch than this. Already, well I really shouldn't estimate. But I wonder if out of... I also wanted to know how many bars of soap I would get out of a pound, so on and so forth. Um, what ounce molds did I buy? Huh, it doesn't say, it says 12 cavity. Fuck, I'd have to measure the amount poured. Oh, annoying. They should print it somewhere. Well, I'll just do it because the ugh, half a pound to a bar of soap, we'll see. Hi viewer, hola hola, I only know two languages. We're almost done here. So let me go over here and make sure that this mold is gonna get dry. Yeah, and then I'll show it to you. I got a round mold, I just, I don't know. I guess, um, None of the soaps that I buy have been round, so I said, pues by me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have myself some round soaps. So this is the mold I bought. Fuck, 
Ants, get the fuck. How did you guys, because the... I have, oh my god. They're on the bottom. Okay. Yo, it's like hard to keep things completely contamination free in my kitchen. This is the mold. All right, we're done over here, so. Shit, well, it's as clean as it's gonna get. I almost feel like I shouldn't have wiped it, unfortunately. I feel like I got like little pelillos the, from the paper towel. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna put these first. So I'm putting in the chopped up geranium. And then I'm gonna mix it through. I know it's gonna turn black but my hope is that if I let it sit in here and stew for a few minutes that some of the properties of the geranium petal are transferred into the soap and while I do that I should have let you guys watch it turn black I am going to use a different uh, camera version next time handheld. I never said I was a freaking YouTube star. All right. So, geranium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, fuck it. Excuse my language. I don't like the way it smells. I tell you, but that's because I'm very sensitive to certain flower essential oils. They give me the gags, and um, I always thought it was rose, but hell, maybe it was geranium that always bothered me. My soaps are also starting to turn green now because of the plant matter. Um, so it's going to be green translucent. Cool. I can't show you right now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, I personally want the smell of citronella to overpower the geranium because. Even though citronella might not be my favorite smell in the world, the geranium makes me gag. Ugh. Now that brings back summers with horses. Now it smells like citronella. Yeah, I needed to too. I'm gonna add five more. One. Cause that geranium boy, ugh. But it's good for us. All right, so now take a look. Because it went from being clear to having red specks in it to now having black specks in it and being in a green broth. 
if you can see the color or the shadow kills it. But that broth is green. So we're, the bars of soap are gonna be, it's gonna be flex suspended in green. Unless it changed his colors again when setting, but to be honest, I don't think so. All right, so it's ready. Now we have to pour it into the molds. So I'm going to use a ladle. somewhere. I'm going to use a ladle to fill the Pyrex so that I can pour with precision. All right, this is one half cup, exactly. For grins and giggles, let's see if one half cup will fill one mold. It may, it may not. It does, oh shoot, now I wanted to leave, we're supposed to leave some room at the top and then we can garnish with bigger pieces of petals, which I don't think I have enough to go. Well, we'll see how many of these I end up making. So here I am over here. Oh, well, that was a better angle the whole time. No va aprendiendo, eh? Um, So yeah, I'm gonna keep it again at a half cup, although I should do slightly less than a half cup in the mold. All right, that's a bit less. And I'm gonna put fewer flowers on top. Let's kind of space them out. really running out of petals. See, so yeah, as I said before, I bought those from the Healing Gypsy on Etsy. Uh, she grows them organically in Maine. It was $20 for a rather small tin. That, um, that makes the addition of these petals unsustainable to the continued production of these bars, I think, because as I mentioned, they were actually the most expensive item, um, all things considered. So I'm really better off finding a geranium plant and growing them myself, but I'm I, Konya, just starting my journey with plants again. And I'm not quite ready. I'm trying to get some calendula going first. Um, so maybe I'll find someone who has geranium, but then you wonder, what do they feed their plants? Is it organic? Because all of my other ingredients are organic. So do I really, you know, want to add petals that aren't? You know, then what's the point of having all of the other materials? So I was able to make four, so this is great. And we know that they're about a half cup each. 
which is interest or not just interesting, it's important information. First one I really overloaded with petals, now I'm doing it a lot more sparsely on top. Sparsely parsley, baby. And I don't think, which is great, um, that I burnt the soap. Because I'm not smelling it. I think what I smelled was probably something gross. bottom of my pot. Right, I'm coming down to the end of this here. We're going to be able to see in total how much soap we produced out of a half pound, or excuse me, out of one pound of soap base. I mean, I guess it should be roughly equal, right? But who knows? What do I know? Um, this is my first time. Um, yeah, I guess it should be roughly equal. So, but this was a half again. I should probably make one, and I'll probably get one more. Ooh, it's coagulating. I should break that up if possible. So kind of like wax, but not as bad. Um, it does get like a film on top if it sits too long and it becomes less pourable. See how it ends up? Let me show you the spout. That's soap on the end of the spout, kind of coagulated, kind of sticky. All right, so these are my three, my things to clean. And then you can see at the bottom, this is what I mean by the film that it gets, if you can see that. Kind of like at the top of milk, at the top of anything with, that has oils in it. It gets kind of filmy, fun to play with. All right, um, let me put these last on. I think we might have had a little coagulate. Well, maybe that's just it's starting to set already because I'm starting to see it on the tops of all of them. Ooh, it looks so cool seeing those flowers suspended in there. I'm glad I did that. I don't care that they turn out black. And I'm sorry that I didn't film this differently because, like I said, it looks really cool seeing it up close. Like, green translucence and these things like suspended in it yum, yum, yum. and this stuff gets all gross like goo um, okay and then yeah I'll just show you see how they're starting to get kind of waxy on top and then I don't want any contamination so I'm going to put this in the fridge I think I might cover it. I think you're supposed to cover it. So I was able to make one, two, three, four, five, six bars of soap out of one pound of soap base. I definitely think I know I can do this, but the big question for my purposes is that I have to calculate whether I was able to do it cheaper than buying from 
wonder side. So, I think that's one reason why you're supposed to not fill them all the way up to the top is so that when you cover it, it's not like touching the soap or the toppings, so to speak. Um, you want to cover it because you don't want any stuff falling in to your soap while it's setting. Shit touch the top of the soap once like this whatever we're gonna make mistakes I don't think you want it to be like you don't want to get any moisture water in my hands might not have been a hundred percent dry but we'll see what happens it wasn't quite white enough so I have to go to over the other way now Never said I was good at plastic wrap. Oh, to be more eco, I should have used parchment paper. I think that would achieve essentially the same goal here. Kids, I rocked the boat. I spilled it over the sides. I wasn't paying attention. You have to be mindful the whole time when doing a new craft. So, I had spillage in some of my bars. Won't be perfect. I also made a mess inside this plastic. So, I'm going to not want to make a mess in the fridge now that I've made a mess. So I'm going to lay some stuff down because I think I'm going to have leaks. But um, we're essentially done. And then we're going to put it in the fridge and set the timer for, I'm gonna go for five hours. But I think it can take as long as six. go cussing. Another thing that would have been smart would have been to put it on a tray before pouring because then it would have transferred really well. So I recommend doing that which is really just common sense because we're gonna have more slippage right now. 
Fuck! I ruined them all. They're all ruined because of that. All right, well, you learn every time, I suppose, don't you? Wow, they're really messed up now. I'm just putting it in the fridge. Well, you learn every time you do something, but uh, yeah, I have to calculate all the, the costs too because I only have, I used half of my soap base that I bought just now um, doing this. So if I want to do this again, I gotta buy a whole nother batch of soap base and I've gotta calculate the costs. See if it comes out to be more economical or not. All right, well, I better go set the timer for five hours and uh, I can check back with you later. Bye-bye now.